Hi, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors. I'm an online color consultant specializing in Benjamin Moore and Sherwin-Williams. Today we're talking about Sherwin-Williams Repose Grey. Repose Grey is a light paint color, but is not a washy light. A lot of light colors can get washy, particularly when they get a lot of natural light on them. Not this one. It really holds its own. Uh, when it comes to LRV, the LRV is above 50. So LRV refers to the amount of light a color reflects into the room or the amount of light it absorbs. So if you're above 50, you're going to be reflecting some light. This one is above 50. Not by a lot, by some. Will it make a dark room feel lighter and brighter? I don't think so. Um, you know, based on the numbers, yes it should, but I find if anything because of the, the gray and the subtle um, grayish base to it, it doesn't necessarily lighten and brighten a room, but that being said, it's still beautiful. So now about those undertones, this is a gray paint color, but it has undertones. The undertones are a bit of a grayish brown base. It also has a bit of taupe in there. So everyone thinks taupe is something different. To me, taupe is a brown with a little bit of purple or maybe a little bit of pink in there. This is a little bit of purple. If you don't like purple, don't let that scare you off. Your walls will not look purple. Super, super passive. It's more that it, it softens the color so it's not a flat feeling color. It's got a really nice body to it. Uh, the darker version of Repose Grey is Mindful Grey. Super popular color. Really nice pairing with this. Uh, when it comes to a feature wall though, you'll want to go another stage darker and look at, probably look at Sherwin-Williams Dovetail, which is two stages darker than this one. Um, as a whole home color, I would definitely do it an entire home in it, but I would tweak it on a room by room basis. So if I had a dark room, a dark hallway, a dark basement, I'd probably have it lightened by 25%. So that 25% will just, it'll just take a little bit of the edge off, brighten it. It'll still fall into shadow a little bit, which is hard to avoid in dark rooms, but it will still be a beautiful color. In a south facing room, if you have tons of intense natural light, especially direct light coming in, it'll wash it out a bit, but not so much that you'll lose the color of it. So it actually works really, really well for that. Fantastic color for resale. You can't go wrong, again, as long as you tweak it on a room by room basis. Um, when it comes to whites with Repose Gray, it has a ton of flexibility. I think that's because of its undertones. You know, it's got gray with a little bit of brown, so it's got best of both worlds. So when I'm looking at my whites, there's a white with a subtle warm undertone. You can see it looks really pretty. It's soft, slightly lower contrast than a bright white. And when I go to a bright white, you see it's a little bit more of a modern contemporary look and either look is beautiful. Um, when it comes to a palette, as much as I love Repose Gray for an entire house, sometimes colors look more beautiful when they have something to play off of. So for that reason, you'd look at something like Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt. If you want to learn more about it, I have a video on that as well. You can see that they work really well together. Even though this is a neutral, this is a color, this color has neutral undertones in it. So they work really well together. So that is Sherwin-Williams Repose Gray. If you want to see some more photos of it on my website, find out some more information, check it out, www.kyliemmanteriors.ca. Thank you.